everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Today I wanted to show you how to propagate a very beautiful tree that you can grow here in the south called the crepe myrtle. Uh, you'll see them all over the place. When people love them, they come in many different colors. These particular ones are sort of a watermelon pink color and they look really great in the summertime when they're all in bloom. So let me show you a little bit more about the crepe myrtles. Now the crepe myrtles, if you treat them right and you don't do what a lot of people term as crepe murder and you let them grow into a tree form they can be a gorgeous tree that provides shade in your garden and they're a very fast growing tree so in a few years you can have a nice bit of shade and start creating a nice tosta garden shade garden and grow a lot of those things there very quickly so this particular one we planted over here as a seedling from a uh, another plant that was in my parents garden and we moved it over here and it's been growing like this ever since I've never had it die back even though sometimes crepe myrtles can be prone to dying back in very cold years or with a very late frost um, they are not native to the United States they're native to Asia and so they're not perfectly adapted to here but in the southern states maybe a little bit warmer than zone 7 where I'm at they're going to be very reliable unless you get one of those really strange late frosts that hits them. So let's talk about actually propagating the crepe myrtle and what type of cutting that you're gonna use. See, for this one, I'm looking at this branch right here, and this is just about perfect. If you see the size of that right there, it's just a little under a pencil size, and it's first year growth, and that grows really well. You can even do hardwood cuttings from it too. If you happen to have suckers forming around the base, which I don't really see any here just because it's covered up with these iris uh, leaves, but if you have suckers around the base, that is an ideal spot to gather cutting material from. And it's, if you take a cutting that's probably about four to six inches long, that is gonna be what's ideal for propagating crepe myrtle. So next, I'm gonna go on and take some cuttings and I'll show you what those look like here in a minute. So here's an example of one of the cuttings I took. So here there's quite a few nodes on it. And you can see here where the bark is beginning to change on this first year growth. It's hardening off right there. And this is about the perfect time because you get the maximum reliability on a cutting without it fading. Up here, I'm gonna snip off the top part, right like that, because I really don't want that growth tip. And now throughout here, I'm gonna try to get a few, several different nodes on it. Right like that, there, okay? And those are three cuttings that I will use for these crepe myrtles. You'll notice here they've got several nodes on them. And I'm gonna come back in and snip right here below that node and make them into nodal cuttings. This one's already set up right, just the way I want it. And this one here, I'm actually gonna trim it up to there and take off that, that hardwood because I think that might, not be necessary for these cuttings here. So I'm going to come over here and do this one and I'll do it very similar and in the same way I'm going to take off this small little stem right there completely and I'll cut down to here and I'm just going to dispose of that and this one I will try to get two cuttings out of. Cut right between those just like that. So we'll add those to that set and then here I'll do the same. I'm going to cut off the little bit on the top. And this one I may just leave as a single cutting. It's a little bit longer than the others, but just to see. I'll trim it down just slightly so it's under that node. This one here is pretty much just ready to go as it is. I don't want to trim it up too much, but I will take off the top just like that. Try to do nice clean cuttings. And then over here, I'll do the same thing on this one, trim off the top, and then separate it into several different spots here. And so I'll just get two out of that one there and throw away this excess stuff. I don't need a whole lot of crepe myrtle trees. I'm doing this just to, as a demonstration and to move a few over onto our other property eventually. Next step is I need to remove some of these leaves because they've got too many leaves on them for me to stick as a cutting right here like that. And to do that, I'm gonna probably leave the top two or three leaves of each cutting so that I will stick the rest of it into my medium, which I'll talk about after I do the leaf stripping. 
So now you can see what I've got as far as cuttings go. This is exactly what I'm going to use in them, and they're all a little bit different. Some have a couple leaves, some have three leaves, some have two leaves, and there's one that has one leaf. So you can do it in lots of different ways. Crepe myrtles root very easily, so it's not, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. There's a lot of variability in it. Now for my rooting medium, I am using a moistened wet sand, and that's it. Now this is an old yogurt cup. I've got two of them here, and so I'm going to fill them up with these cuttings. And to do that, because it's wet, I'm just going to stick them in. They go right in. Now if it was something a little bit tougher, you would probably want to use a dibbing tool of some kind where you can kind of create a hole and then push it right in there. But I'm going to put four cuttings in each of these. Give me a total of eight crepe myrtles if they all root. Success should be pretty decent with these. I'm not using rooting hormone. That may speed it up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with using rooting hormone on them. Uh, crepe myrtles don't necessarily need it though. Uh, they will root just fine on their own very well. So these will root in about four to eight weeks somewhere in that ballpark, depending upon the conditions. And I'm gonna bring these inside our garage area and put them under lights so I can control them a little bit better. Um, I have been putting some stuff under a Japanese maple tree but I'm noticing a lot of slug damage on the leaves, so I want to try to avoid that as best as I can. And I'll just bring them in into, onto my plant shelves in the garage area. But this is real easy. Uh, crepe myrtles can be very beautiful plants, and they will grow very quickly into nice, smaller trees that you can generate shade if you have a sunny area. Uh, but they're also a good accent tree in various locations so there's all kinds of them we've got one that has a darker foliage on it that blooms white we've got some that bloom purple we've got some that are pink these are kind of a watermelon pinkish reddish color so anyway I hope you enjoyed this short video I'll show you the results in a few weeks when we got some rooting happening and I'm Dave with growing the home garden please like this and subscribe love to have you along to show you some more garden stuff Thanks for watching.